Remember, throughout this whole video, you can always pause the video and drink some water if you need to. Two, one. Hello, everyone. And welcome back. And in today's workout, we're going to be focusing on the lower half of our body, which is our leg and the glute area. The purpose of this video is to keep us and you in shape during quarantine. So, so let's, let's get, get started. started. First exercise is running leg kicks, which will be demonstrated here. As shown in the demonstration, I am straightening my legs, pointing my toes, and I have my chest up straight as you should be doing. This exercise will be done for one minute, and remember, no cheating. Your minute starts in three, two, one, go. Remember, no cheating. It's only one minute of your life. You can do it. Don't forget your posture. Your posture is very important. And straightening your legs and pointing your toes, and remember, land toe, ball, heel. You're at 45 seconds and it's counting down. Thirty-five. And we know cardio is hard. It's one of the worst workouts to do, but it's one of the one that's gonna make you the strongest. So keep going, you guys got this. 20 seconds. You're almost done, keep going. 15. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So the next exercise we will be doing is frog jumps. As demonstrated here. As shown in the demonstration, I was going fully down in a squat and I did not have my hands inside of my legs. I had them outside of my legs. And if you notice, her bottom went all the way down because you have to work out your legs. Her arms reached all the way up and her toes were very pointed. We are doing this for 50 seconds. Three, two, one, go. This workout is probably one of the most like burning your leg workout, but it's one of the best and it's going to make you get that muscle you need and become stronger in your legs to tumble more. This will help you with your back handspring and getting those strong legs that you need. You are at 30 seconds. Remember to be pointing your toes and reaching all the way up to your ceiling or wherever you are. Make sure you don't cheat by keeping your bottom up in the air. 20 seconds. You are almost done. 15. We know it burns, but keep going. This is the only way you're gonna be stronger. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. The next exercise we will be doing is a wall sit. For a minute as demonstrated here. The level 3s and 4s will be doing it for a minute. And the level 2s will be doing this for 30 seconds. Time starts in 3, Two, one, go. Make sure when you're in your wall seat, your chest is straight up, your hands are straight against the wall. Do not rest your hands on your legs because that is cheating. And make sure that your legs are in a 90 degree angle, which your legs will look like this. You're at 40 seconds. I know it burns, but keep going and your legs shouldn't be too far behind or too in front. 30 seconds, if you're a level two, you may come down. The level's any higher than that, stay up. Okay. 20 seconds, we know it burns, but keep going. This is what makes a strong gymnast, pushing through the pain. 15. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. The next exercises is walking lunges. Which will be for a minute and it will be demonstrated here. You can either do walking lunges, which will be done like moving forward, or you can do them in place as shown in the video due to your spacing. These will be done for a minute. Ready, three, two, one, go. Make sure you are creating the 90 degree angle with your front foot, which means your knee and your ankle are making that line in front. Never past, never behind. You're at 45 seconds. Keep going. 
This one shouldn't be too bad. This one's pretty much a downtime, but it's still looking like really good. 35. Make sure you're working hard. We need those strong legs. 30. Level twos, you may come down. Anyone higher? Keep going. You're at 25. 20. Make sure you're not slacking off just because we're not watching you. 15. No cheating. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The next exercise is skater hops. This one is a new exercise. We haven't done this one before, but it's working your legs in your glute area. As shown here. Shown in the demonstration, you are jumping side to side while making that diagonal lunge while your arms jump up and mid jump. This will be done for a minute. Ready? Three, two, one, go. This is a great cardio workout as well as a leg and glute workout. This is a new exercise, so make sure you are doing it perfectly and not with any bad form. At the top, you should be reaching up and then going down to that leg and then reaching up like a, um, a frog jump. Thirty seconds, level twos may come down, anyone higher, keep going. Twenty-five, you're probably feeling the burn right now, but just keep going. This is the only way you're gonna create that muscle. And strong legs you need to tumble hard. Fifteen <clears throat> and we have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. The next exercise we will be doing are pistol squats, which we will be doing 30 seconds on each leg no matter what level you are on. This can be done on a chair any, or anything higher or lower depending on your level, which will be shown here. Go. Ready, three, two, one, go. Make sure you're doing only one leg. We'll tell you when to switch. Also make sure you do not let that leg drop. You keep it up. Keep going, you're almost there. Make sure you have a straight leg and a pointed toe. Don't cheat. Switch legs. You should be working like as if we were in class watching you. Make sure you're doing as many as you can on each leg. You're at 20 seconds. Keep going. 15. Almost done. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. The next exercise is jumping squats with a chair. The level twos will be doing this for 30 seconds while the level threes and fours will be doing this for a minute. As shown here. Make sure while you're doing this exercise, since you are doing it from a chair or your sofa, depending on where you're at and your spacing, you are not resting on the chair. You're only tapping it with your bottom and jumping up. Ready, set, go. This one should be burning your legs, and again, it's working your legs and your bottom. Make sure you point your toes when you jump. Keep going, you guys got this. Remember, don't sit down. Only tap your bottom to the chair and jump up. It's easier to cheat, but you don't get any results that way. 30 seconds, level twos may stop. Anyone higher, keep going. You're almost done. No matter how bad your legs burn, 
Don't rest on the chair. 15. You're almost done. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. The next exercise we'll be doing is leg tightening, which you should be straightening your legs, pointing your toes, and have good posture, which will be demonstrated here. This exercise will be done for one minute, which means 30 seconds on each leg. The timer will start in three, two, one, go. Make sure you're only doing one leg for 30 seconds. Don't alternate legs. Make sure you do not bend your knee and your toe is pointed. It's easier to do it the wrong way, but you get no results that way. You're almost at 30 seconds. Remember to keep your legs straight. And switch legs. And keep your toes really pointed. You do not want them floppy. You're almost done, keep going. This drill is very good for your legs, for the muscle and for just leg tightening in general so you guys can have straight legs and not bend. You have 10 seconds. You're almost done. Five. Four, three, two, and one. The next exercise is Nerpees with a 180 turn. This exercise will be done for one minute as shown here. And make sure while you do these exercises that you are reaching all the way up while you turn and you are pointing your toes with straight legs. Your timer starts in three, two, one, go. These are one of the hardest exercises to do out of this whole workout, but they're one of the most effective and best workouts for your legs and literally your whole part of your body. Make sure you do not cheat during these. If you want to become stronger, make sure you push through the pain. And level twos may come down. If you're a higher level, keep going. You guys are almost done. Just keep going, push through it. You have 15 seconds. And 10, nine, eight seven six five four three two and one the next exercise is squat ups as demonstrated here demonstrated you jump on the chair you do a squat you stand squeeze your glutes squat again and jump down this will be time for a minute ready set go this is hard but you have to remember to jump up and squeeze your glutes make sure you don't rush on this take your time because you always want proper form done. Make sure you keep going. Make sure you're not cheating. You guys got this. Also make sure you control your jump so that you don't wobble the chair and you don't fall. If your chair wobbles you can always put it up against the wall. Or have someone hold it for you depending on you have 10 seconds, but it, try it for at least one of them, one, two, five, four, three, two, and one. So the next exercise we have are step ups. Make sure that you alternate legs during this, and as you step up, you push your hips flat, and you take your time and just step up and down. Don't rush during this. As shown here. This 
is going to be time for one minute. Ready, set, go. Make sure you, like I said before, take your time on this, squeeze your glutes on the top and the bottom. Make sure you alternate legs, don't just do one. You're at 40 seconds, make sure you keep going. This one is kind of giving you a break, so this one shouldn't be too hard, but then you're still working your legs, so you're still getting that muscle every time. 30 seconds. You guys are almost done, keep going. And 20, almost there. 15. And 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Next is side lunges. You want to make sure that you are going to each side and you are alternating. As shown here. This will be for a minute. Ready, set, go. Make sure you are, are deeply squatting into each side of your legs. This just works your whole entire leg, so it's a very good exercise. And make sure your uh, knee doesn't go over your toe. It stays in line, just like in a regular lunge. Same thing as your chest. Don't drop your chest. It goes down low, but you still keep it straight as you go to each side. Make sure you keep going. And you are halfway there. Everyone should still keep going. Lunges feel like the worst exercise, but they're one of the best exercises for your legs. And 15, you guys are almost done. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. So the next exercise we have, we're gonna be laying down on our back with our knees bent in and we're gonna be doing glute raises. These are just pulses, you're just pulsing your bottom up and down. That will be for 30 seconds. And the next 30 seconds, we'll be doing just holding. And this just works your bottom glute area. It's very good. As shown here. Ready, three, two, one, go. You are going up and down right now for this 30 seconds. So make sure you don't switch until we tell you to. And make sure when you go up, you squeeze your bottom and you can release when you go down. And make sure you go at a regular pace, not too fast and not too slow. Make sure you keep going. And again, this workout is very, this exercise is very good for your glute area. And now switch, so now we're just holding instead of pulsing. So we're just holding, make sure you stay there for the next 30 seconds. You got 20 seconds, keep holding. You're at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one for the next exercise you will be sitting in pike with your hands by your knees you will be lifting your legs towards your chest while you are hunched over as shown here go 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 these will be for 30 seconds ready set this exercise is great because it's working your legs as well as your abs. It's a very hard exercise. So this is why we're only doing it for 30 seconds, but keep going because we've done these in class before. And make sure your knees are straight and your toes are pointed. It's really easy to bend because it feels easier, but just keep them straight, work your legs out, work your abs out. Keep going, guys, you're almost done. And five, four, three, two, and one. 
the next exercise we are doing are ski bunnies. We've done this many times in class. You just have to pretend that there's a line in front of you and just jumping over to side to side. As shown here. This exercise is for a minute. Ready, set, go. Now this one's gonna feel like a long time because you're jumping and it's cardio, but it's really good for your legs and it's just good for your whole body. Make sure you squeeze your core too so you're not flopping around. And if you can, when you jump, try to point your toes too. It's kind of difficult, but you guys can do it. You got 40 seconds. And 30 seconds, halfway there. You guys are almost there, keep going. Remember when to jump, when you jump, to straighten your legs and point your toes if you can. No, it doesn't feel good, but you'll feel better afterwards knowing that you did a great workout. And 15, make sure you guys keep going. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So the next exercise we have are side leg raises, which you're going to be standing forward, your hands on your hips, you're going to be raising your leg up sideways. You have to make sure that when you do it, you try to raise your knee up. Your knee is never facing forward, it's always facing up. going to be doing each leg for 30 seconds side and back. Ready, set, go. And we're starting off with side first. So we're going to do one leg and the other leg. We'll tell you when to switch though. For now we're just doing one leg. And remember not to kick up high. We don't need high kicks. It's only little kicks. So that you really work that muscle rather than just trying to get it up high. You're almost done with one leg. Keep going. Alright, now switch to the other leg and we're still doing side, side leg lift, so keep going. Remember to keep that leg straight and the toe pointed all the time. And your knee up to the ceiling, never forget your technique. You got 15 seconds, you're almost done. 10 seconds. And 5, 4, 3, two and one now we are going to be doing the back kicks ready set go make sure you're not kicking too high but you're also engaging your glute area we don't want a bent leg so you're not trying to kick it through your head you're going low we're just working your whole leg make sure you keep going with just one leg first we'll tell you when to switch keep it going remember not to cheat and if you feel that you're losing balance you can also put your hands against the wall if you need to don't rest yourself. You're only there just to make sure you don't fall. All right, now switch legs. So now you should be on the other leg. Remember all these back kicks to keep your chest up. Your knee is straight with pointed toes. You're at 20 seconds. Make sure you keep going. And 15, almost done. And 10. And five, four, three, two, and one. The next exercise is frog jumps, but this time our hands are in the middle of our legs. As shown here. <coughs> this will be time for a minute. Ready, set, go. And I know we already did frog jumps, but these are just a different variation of them. And your legs are going to feel very dead, but that's the whole point of working out. You want your legs to feel dead because you know you're working them out good and you know you're going to get that muscle that you guys really need. Just for a minute, it's hard, but just keep pushing through it. We know you guys can do it. And if you do need to take a break, just pause it, then take a 10 second, 5 second break and just get back into it. You are almost and halfway there. You got 30 seconds left. Keep going. You guys got this. And almost there. You're at 20 seconds. You guys are almost done. Keep pushing through it. 
We only have a few more left. 15. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. The last exercise is heel raises using the back of a chair. And these may not seem effective at all, but they are very effective. This is the only exercise we are doing that is targeting your calf muscle. As shown here. Go. And make sure during this exercise your ankles are glued together and you squeeze your bottom as you go up and as you go down. The timer starts in three, two, one, go. This will only be done for one minute as all the exercises before. Make sure you push it, your calf should be sore tomorrow. Remember to have your neck straight, as in ballet, a string is pulling you up. It also helps if you spot something a little bit higher than your Guys are almost there, you got it. 30 seconds, halfway there. Everyone just don't be going. 25, keep going. Make sure you go as high as you can on your toes. And 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now is a cool down stretch. And the stretches we'll be doing in this routine are meant to relieve your muscles that you just worked out so that you're not so sore the next day. The first stretch we'll be doing is a seated pike with one leg bent, reaching for your foot. This stretch really relieves the back of your legs, as shown here. Timer starts in three, two, one, go. Each leg will only be done for 30 seconds. Make sure you guys reach as far down as you can so you can really relieve those muscles. And make sure your leg's tight and your toe is pointed. You have 10 seconds. You're almost done. Keep going. This shouldn't even be hard. It should be very good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now we are gonna switch legs for 30 seconds. Ready, switch, ready. The timer starts, three, two, one, go. Make sure you always switch legs so you don't wanna have one leg only flexible and the other one not. It's always good to stretch both sides. You're at 15 seconds, almost there. Make sure you really go down as far as you can. Breathe in and out. Five, four, three, two, and one. The next stretch we'll be doing is a seated straddle with one leg bent in, reaching to the leg that is extended with both arms. Each leg will be done for 30 seconds as shown here. Timer starts in three, two, one, go. Remember, each side is only done for 30 seconds, and this one should be very good at stretching the side of your lats, too. You have 20 seconds, keep going. Make sure your toe is pointed and your knees are straight still. So. And make sure you have your chest open, you are not hunched over. Make sure your shoulders are open to the back. And five, four, three, two, and one. And now you are going to be switching legs for 30 seconds. Ready, three, two, one, go. And same thing, don't ever forget your technique. Make sure your shoulders are open, never hunched, always open. Pointed toes, straight knees, or the one leg that is straight. 15, 9, 10, you're almost done. Keep that technique, keep going down as far as you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. The next stretch we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be in exactly the same position we were before, but this time instead of reaching to the side, we're gonna reach forward with both arms. 
This will be done on each leg for 30 seconds, just like we did previously, as shown here. The timer starts in three, two, one, go. Make sure you are reaching as far down as you can go just so you can really stretch out those muscles. And remember to breathe throughout all these stretches. Breathing is very important when you stretch. Make sure your toe is pointed and your foot is still back. Knee should be pointing up to the ceiling. It should never be pointed to the camera or whatever you are looking at right now. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Now you are going to be switching legs for 30 seconds. Ready, three, two, one, go. Same thing as here, knee up to the ceiling, toe back, point your toes, reach forward as far down as you can go, breathe in and out, and just stretch. You're at 15 seconds. And 10, you're almost done, keep going. And five, four, three, two, and one. The next stretch is a standing pike stretch. Make sure when you do the stretch, your knees are completely locked out and you're trying to reach towards the floor. And if that's too easy, you grab your calves. As shown here. This stretch is in 45 seconds. Ready, set, go. And again, depending on your level, you have three different variations to pick from, so pick the one that's best for you. Make sure you don't rush into the hardest one, because if you rush in, you can accidentally pull a muscle on the back of your legs. But also, you want to push yourself. So do what's best for you. This one is a little bit longer, but it's a very good stretch. You're at 20 seconds. Make sure you keep going, breathe in and out, and just go as far down as you can. You should be trying to relax. And 10 seconds, you're almost done. And five, four, three, two, and one. The next stretch we have is a lunge pose, which means your knee is off the ground and your arms are both placed on one side of your leg. As shown here. This stretch is for 15 seconds. The timer starts in three, two, one, go. Remember, depending on your level, pick the harder or easier one. It just depends on you. Five, four, three, two, and one. And ready, you're gonna switch legs. I'll give you time to do that. Ready, three, two, one, go. Remember, it's just 15 seconds, so pick the one that's best for you. Make sure your hips are pushing down to the ground. Five, four, three, two, and one. The next stretch we have is a hip flexor stretch, which means your knee is on the floor and you're pushing your hips as far down as they can go. As shown here. This stretch will be done for 15 seconds Ready, set, go. This is a very quick stretch, but it's very effective. Make sure you push your hips down as far as they can go, but don't hurt yourself. And make sure your knee and your ankle are in a line. Three, two, and one. And now you're going to switch your legs. I'll give you time to set up. And three, two, one, go. Same thing as before. Make sure your knee is at a 90 degree angle with your ankle. Put your hips as far down as they can go. Make sure you weave in and out. Three, two, and one. The next stretch is a hamstring stretch, just like we do in class. As shown here. This stretch is for 15 seconds. Ready, set, go. 
make sure you're really reaching up towards the ceiling and really pushing your hips forward. So make sure you're not overdoing it and hurting your back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ready, you are switching legs. I'll give you time to do that. Ready, three, two, one, go. On this stretch, you wanna make sure that your knee and ankle are in a line and you have your back leg straight behind you. You guys are almost done. Three, two, and one. The last series of stretches is a standing straddle stretch where you go to one side for 10 seconds, the other side for 10 seconds, and you go in the middle for 10 seconds. As demonstrated here. Wait, hold up, let me think. Okay. Amazing job, everyone. We hope you enjoyed these exercises. Make sure you stay strong and eat healthy. Have an awesome day. Bye. Bye.